Hello. 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 <laughs> Alrighty. <clears throat> what happened to the music? Auto forward time. Text speed. There we are. Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Yeah, there's the music. Alrighty. Alrighty, so we're good. Let me let me just check how we how we're sounding really quick. So, what is it guys? It is me, Niels23, bringing you some Doki Doki Literature Club. This was actually what? Please enter your name. Uh, let's say, uh, my name will be... Uh... Sir... Joe. Yes, yeah, or Joe. Alright. So this game was actually... My friend was trying to... Oh. Let's see. He, he asked me to play this, so I decided to play it. It looks really weird. I don't know. We're gonna see how it is. I've seen a lot of people be posting it. So we're gonna see how this goes. Anyways, without further ado. Hey! 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 There he goes. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms. <clears throat> Living her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, that kind of friend that you never see yourself making today, but it kind of just works out because you know each other for so long. <laughs> we used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But... If she's gonna chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Never. I just sign idle in front of the crosswalk and let's see how you catch up to me. <laughs> uh, uh, I overslapped again. I caught you this time. Maybe only because I decided to stop away for you. Oh, wait, that was me. Oh, E. You say that just like you're about ignoring me. That's mean, Sir Joe. Well, if people stare at you. Fine. Fine, fine. There he goes. There, I don't know her voice. I don't know what her voice should be. But you did wait. You did wait for me after all. There it is. I found it. I found her voice. Her voice is going to sound like this. Good old Sayori is going to sound like this. Okay, Sayori. I guess you didn't have to be so mean if you wanted to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near the streets, become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, sir, by the way, sir, John, there you go. Have you decided to join? Have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already. I'm not really interested in joining any club, say, or you goddamn it. Just fucking listen. I've told you a billion goddamn times I don't want to join that shit. I haven't been talking either. Eh, yeah, that's not true. You told me you were joining the club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in front of one of our minor conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going about. Sayori likes to worry a little bit too much about me when I'm perfectly content just by getting the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Just like me, yes. Okay. Uh-huh! I was talking about where the hammer when you socialize in skills before college. It happens is really important to me, you know. I don't know you're happy right now, but I died at the time becoming needed in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Nope. That can't be worrying about you. Alright, alright. Oh, alright, alright. I just look out a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. It is promise me to try a little. Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. This is like one of those, like, like, where you are you supposed to make everyone fall in love with you? 
Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I haven't let myself relent to her. I guess I ain't worry so much about me. It makes me want to ease my mind a little bit. If she does exaggerate, everything's out of her head. Next scene. Ah, we are at school. School day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. This sounds just like me. Clubs. Sarah wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. <laughs> Sorry. Sarah must have gone in the classroom while I was pacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd just got you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here pacing out as you came in. <clears throat> Honestly, you hurt me sometimes. I'm impressed. It's your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought you know. Wait, no, what? I think you can come to my club. Sorry. Yeah! <laughs> no way I'm going to your club. Uh, Mini. Sorry uh, is the vice president of the literature club. in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kind of told Tom yesterday I'll bring in a new member. And that Suki make cupcakes and everything. I like cupcakes. Yeah! Don't make promises you can't keep. Can't tell us. <laughs> I can't. I can't tell if Zior is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have this all planned out. I let out a long sigh. <clears throat> Fine. I'll stop by for one cupcake. Okay. Yes, let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I follow Sierra across the school and upstairs, a section of the squad rarely visit, being generally used for the third year. Classroom door. Everyone in the every year! I told you, don't call me a new member, Sayori. God damn it, you don't fucking listen. <clears throat> hey, I got you in the room. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, God, what's her? She looks kind of like. Say, uh, welcome, welcome to the literature club. Sayori always says nice things about you. Oh, she seems bitchy. God damn. Seriously, you're a rob boy. Why to call the Amazon? Ah, Sergio. What a nice surprise. She can have that. Uh, I'll come up with her voice in a second. She sounds like one of those preppy girls. <clears throat> and she's just like. She's like. Like, welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. What a nice surprise. Dot, dot, dot. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. <laughs> what are you looking at? If you want to say something sad? S sorry. That's sicky. <laughs> The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Nasuki, the only one I didn't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Sayori. Need to know her. Then she gets all moody. Sayori just. Sayori says that quietly into my ear and then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yori, the smartest in the club. Don't, 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 don't say things like that. Yuri picked. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you remember Monica, is that right? That's right. Yeah, that's her voice. She's like super happy. It's great to see you again, Sir Joe. 
Monica smiles sweetly. I really, I, if this thing thinks, makes me f make them fucking, I'm gonna make all of them fall in love with me. Then we're just. Yeah. Yeah. We're in the same class last year, and then we're gonna go on. We're gonna go to college, and we're gonna go party. We're gonna have all kinds of fun stuff. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me just genuinely feels a little. You too, Monica. Come to dance, okay? Remember, you remember, Sam, you're going to next to me, Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, got you too excited. Then, how about can we make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. <clears throat> as Sayori mentioned, it's been widened. That there's one space next to Monica and space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over the corner of the room, and Natsuki grabs a rep tray, and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table and tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Da da. Whoa. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decided to look decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So <laughs> I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. I can't do their voices. I keep getting confused on who's who, and it's goddamn. Mm. Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, just her and Taiwan. Ari grabs first one, then Monica. I follow. <clears throat> it's delicious. So I walks with a mouthful, already managed to get icing on her face. God damn it, you don't want to eat, fucking eat like an adult. Then I turn back, looking the best angle to take a bite. Tsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of favor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Tsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything. Eh, I thought you technically did, Sayori said. Well, maybe. But not for you, and I, you dummy. Alright, alright. Why are you so mean to me? I give up Natsuki's real logic and dis dismiss the conversation. Yuri turns the table carrying the tea set. She carefully places the teacup in front of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole. <clears throat> don't worry. Don't worry. Don't. <clears throat> don't worry. Tea just give us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you to enjoy a good book? Uh. <laughs> don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Ah, oh, Yuri is so nice. He's trying to impress Mr. Joe. <laughs> That, that's not insulted. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I'm, I, I meant that, you you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not. <laughs> Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then she smiles at me. So what made you consider, so what made you consider the literature club? Uh... <laughs> Yeah, that's the answer I would give. I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? I'm trying to give her, like, that typical anime girl voice. As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Sounds like she talks fast. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Why aren't you leader of the debate club last year? Ah, <laughs> well... The budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And, if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica's a really great leader. 
Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Damn, it must be hard to Ah, I keep on forgetting her voice. You put it that way. Not many people are interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. Oh my god, there's so much talking. I need water. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we'll get a really grow in this club this year before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. <laughs> Everyone enthusiastically agrees, all four of them. <laughs> so different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm of literature. So, Sir Joe, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh considering how little I've read these past years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorite are usually novels that build. Alrighty. <laughs> the level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling the good story within such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious the way her eyes light up that she finds comfort in the world of books, not people. But you... But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psych... Isn't that amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination and completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, uh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grabbed something that I can relate to at a minimal level at this rate. Yuri might as well be having com a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me another world, then I can't really put it down. Surreal horror is often a very successful at the changing the way you look at the world if it's only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate her. Oh, why is that? Well, it's just... Natsuki's eyes dot over me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What, what gives you that idea? You left a scrap piece of paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't say it out loud. Give it back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poem. Everything just as cute as you are. Siori slides up behind Suki put her hands on her shoulders. I'm not. I'm not cute. <laughs> Natsuki, you write your own poems? <clears throat> But I guess sometimes there is. I a cow. I think it's impressive. Why don't you say it them sometime? N no. And Suki adverts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing unto oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers reaches of your heart. Do you have experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Ah, oh, you're so nice. Dot, dot, dot. I guess it's the same for Yuri. <laughs> we all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Nani? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem. Should all share them with each other. Then everyone is even. Uh, uh, um. <laughs>
Plus now, that we have a new member, I think it would help us all get a little bit more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Aw, oh, you're so smart. Isn't that right, Sergio? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Uh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly... I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never haven't. I never made my decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. Oh damn, they are all looking at me. <laughs> oh fuck! All poor girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but, I'm sorry. I thought. <clears throat> so do. You. Oh, I am. A clear-headed decision when it's like this. That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful. Okay, I've decided then. <sighs> you fucking did it. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. They're all so happy. Look at them. Yes, I'm so happy. So he wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, hey. Be super pissed. Uh, thanks. I guess. Okay, everyone. I think that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. If you remember tonight's assignment, write a poem, bring the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks at me once more. Sir Joe, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I really emplace the class star Monica with my mid-core writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside of me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Atsuki clean up their food. Hey, Sir Joe, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? Oh, fuck. I didn't do her voice. <sighs> I fucked it up. That's right. So Yuri and I used to never walk home together anymore, and that's because she stayed after school for clubs. Sure. Might as well. Yay! <laughs> With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Tsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Well, I'll be really happy spending every day after school in the literature club. Perhaps I'll have a chance to go closer to one of these girls. Alright. I just need to make the most of my circumstances. I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess I'll start writing my poem tonight. It's time to write a poem. Pick your <laughs> pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen when whoever likes your poem the most. Oh, okay. Race parfait, melody, love, daydream, twirl, destiny, beauty, and fireflies. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, death. Um, silly. Universe. Lazy. Inferno games. Fireworks. Oh. Oh, so they're jumping. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, wait. What? Can I click on them? Um. Bliss. Anime. Together. Hopeless. I'm trying to see which one's intellectual. Okay, so this one likes. Okay, so Yuri likes weird stuff. She likes crazy stuff. She likes happy stuff. So I think if I would do Ms. Romance would be her. 
Uh, let's try warm, not desire. Yeah, see? Uh, suicide? Who jumps for that? What? Fear. Whoa. Lust? Oh. Ooh, I think I'm getting something. Sugar. She likes sugar. Okay. Uncanny. Adventure. Hi again, Sergio. God, see so you didn't run away on us, ha ha ha. No, don't worry. No, nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I kept my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Sir Joe. I hope this isn't too uh, overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making us dive headfirst in literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. <clears throat> So you already told me you didn't want to join any clubs this, any clubs this year. And last year, tell. I don't even know if you plan to just come here and hang out with us or what. But if you don't take us seriously, we won't see the end. You won't see the end of it. So you can have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in her club. Oh, so she reads manga? So she was getting all freaking screwy with me? She reads manga now. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Hold on, guys. I think I'm having some weird things happen. Suki finds herself between saying Monica and <laughs> Manga is literature. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, and Natsuki plops back at her seat. Don't worry, guys. Sergio always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. <clears throat> he helps me with busy work without even me asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, so, that's just because your room is messy and distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. <laughs> is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Sergio become good friends too. Uh, um, Sayori. Hmm? As usual, Sierra seems to the oblivious to acting weird situation she put me into. Oh. Oh, uh, uh, you even brought me something today, you know? Wait, wait, Sayori? Uh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh. Sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess that's me and it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. I'll make it me it'll make me happy no matter what. It is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal of it if you don't want it to be. Alright, well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked a book that I thought you might enjoy. This is a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. Elf. I forget to get horses. <clears throat> to discuss if you want it. Wait, fuck. I didn't read the last one. Sorry. This this is She even picked out a book she thinks I like despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. 
and enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to meeting you. To hear, ah, da, 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 da. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone is settled, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Ah, your face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like if she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down in the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book here he gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. Close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We probably gotta be seem really lame to all the we're probably gonna see bad bad. We probably gonna seem really lame compared to the other club do. We do we can't give up. The festivals are just so everyone literature is all about. The problem is the idea of literature club sounds too dense and intellectual, but it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone, something that speaks their creative minds. Whoa. Whoa. Go back. Mmm. This is not the problem, though. And what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, no, we will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So, it's one point to figure out how to get people to help in the first place, you know? Now, for some can come, we can do things like speaking to creative minds. What's this? Siori is, is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating things like this. Huh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What kind? Ah, well, I guess we could. Cupcakes! <laughs> <laughs> Good thinking. And Suki would love to do that. Ah, uh, you're right. I think you make the best cupcake. That worked out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative dummy. Fatty. Cupcakes it is, then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we need to get a work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori's still her usual self. But therein lies an unspected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any mo motivation at all, so you can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get into my case about these things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Whoa. <laughs> what? Help my eyes. Wait. Actually, I'm not so real. Your fault for sleeping like that. <clears throat> this isn't the napping club. Let's go have a napping club. And staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in the club, we're gonna have less time for anime, you know? Need to get used to it. Shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's, it's true, though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <coughs> <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still over. No, not every day. That's not very convincing. That's, oh, that's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's. It's a secret. I knew it. Come on. Uh, come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Eh? <laughs> Sayori glances around at herself. How's it written all over me? <laughs> it's sticking out all around here. Eh? I run my fingertip down the side of Sayori's hair trying to straighten out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Oh, there's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't even straight either. Stain. I wipe the stain with my finger. But nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, 
You meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer button up. Oh, and you don't keep your blazer button up? This chick. Seriously, sailor. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you have a boyfriend yet? But you'll thank me later. I started to butt in her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Whoa. <coughs> this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. Uh, d don't say that. You make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Aren't you? Uh, <laughs> I guess. That's <laughs> something I would say. Be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle, <laughs> I struggle to fully close the bottom. The bottom. Does thing even fit on you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, you look much better now. So, uh, why does it feel so strange to see Sarah's blazer button up like that? But it's just stubby. It, it. It's not worth it at all. Sarah so sat hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. <coughs> it's so much better. So he puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? Why is it all like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then you wouldn't even let me do things like this. And you anyway. So that's why I keep it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we're really better at taking care of each other than we are of taking care of ourselves. Taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Aw, but I was joking that time. I keep switching the voices and I've been talking like the same chick the whole time. This is getting really weird because I want something to happen, but a lot of this is them talking. Man, it's impossible to tell you with you sometimes. Okay, okay, she just came out of nowhere, just slid right in. Okay, everyone. Uh, Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we all... I can't read the way yours. Yeah, same. I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. Yeah? My relaxation ends. Can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. Couldn't really find much inspiration since I'd never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Uh, no, uh, I keep wanting to do her voice like so happy. I got her like this stupid voice. I can't wait. Sayori and Monica Thuzi pull out their poems. Sayori is on a wrinkled sheet and loose slave torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, uh, ha, 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 ha. on the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. You can already see Monica's pristine hiding writing from where I sit. And Suki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I share my poem to first? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Sayori. Sayori's the neighbor. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay. Sayori's the neighbor. I. Yuri's the quiet girl. Hmm. Oh. Okay, let's let's go to Monica. Hi, Sergio. 
having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever you have any suggestions for the clubs, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? I mean, it's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Sir Joe. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that will help us learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? Comment. Uh-huh, well... Maybe, we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm, <laughs> well that may be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you, it sounds like you two are really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when I'm reading your poem. Hmm, <laughs> sure you're not reading into it too much? <laughs> it could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Yuri's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can feel that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It can take a, it can take a while before I get comfortable doing this. That's okay. I love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Aha! Huh. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. <clears throat> Couldn't have been me. See the direction that spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel. Blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. I already scorched with a permanent copy of this meaningly Im this. Oh, click outside Palmer. Okay. I already scorched with a permanent copy of this meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I really. Oh. And he on the other side was looking in. What? what you think? Hmm, it's very free form if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not just tired the person to ask for feedback. Uh huh, it's okay. You know, the kind of style's gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can actually be very powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh huh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. I've been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about these stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after it's, everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you write a poem or story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so... If, yeah, I can't speak. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about this is, if you keep your paint in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So, just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. It's like a radio station. Alright, let's go... Cupcake Girl. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Well, it's about what I expected from something like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like that style was bad. It just didn't evoke an emotion. So basically, it's not cute enough for you.
Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Oh. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. Hmm. Yeah, I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. Are you so convinced that... Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. That's the point of poems, for people to express themselves. Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yeah, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like, in this poem, seeing everyone around doing that, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening, so I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about like, I set it up for a rhyme at the end, but then it made it fall flat on purpose. Helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So. Yeah, pro. I'm glad you learned. I'm glad you learned something. God dang it, the voice is wrong again. Didn't expect from the youngest one here, did ya? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but Mitsuki's feeling proud that I won't take that away from her. <clears throat> um, Sayori. Uh oh. Oh. May. Goodness. It's so good, Sir Joe. Uh. I, I love it. I had no idea you such a good writer. Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's right. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. I'm not sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little bit more constructive than this. Are you sure you just don't like it because I wrote it? Uh, well, I'm sure that's part of it. What? No, Siri. You're certainly entitled to that opinion. No, be quiet. Nobody's talking to you. <clears throat> I think I'm... So, I went around your poem and there's another poem. It's a certain jump poem. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> There you go. I'm really, I'm really happy that you just wrote one. You just remind me now you're really part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See, this is like I said before, so don't eat time. You're not selfish at all, you know. Try new things like this for other That's something that only really good people can do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. I don't know how much this means to her and all. Yeah! And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That would be my way of taking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now you read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. <clears throat> Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub my sleep making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret I trust you too. If it wasn't for you I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Alrighty. Hmm. Interesting. Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. 
Well, at least that makes me feel better about myself. I didn't mean to say that. It, I, I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made AIDS and dust! Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. You get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing anyway. Thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time I won't forget. I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Alright, last but not least. Yuri. Because she could be like super. Like, I don't. We'll see. Mmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes more than enough for her to finish reading. Um. Oh, sorry. I forget. I forgot to start speaking. Um. Um. It's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Uh, so it's that bad? No? Did I just raise my voice? Um, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. I might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there's a specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize as a new writer is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick up a writing style separate from the topic matter and they freeform to, f to do together. The end result is that both the style and expressiveness are weakened. When Siri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Oh. It's not something you can be blamed for. There's so many different skills and techniques that go into writing, even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by simple blah, blah, learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased though. Biased? How? Uh um Well never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if you're apologizing to yourself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if it's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, this is isn't the isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by a sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm. Breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Uh, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it was short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something, something a little bit more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Aren't you into ghost, Yuri? 
<laughs> Actually, the story isn't about being a ghost at all, Sergio. Really? I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings. Sure. In this case, perhaps, a subject of a poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. Whoa, she is just going fucking on. And soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I haven't, I hadn't even thought of that. And that's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy to, to, that, that, well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Phew. Guess that's everyone. It's a little bit more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone's judging me for my Medicore writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. <sighs> I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Atsuki. Whoa. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper sharing their respective poems as if they read in tandem. I watch of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns a palm to the desk with one hand. I guess you can say it's fancy. Ah, uh, thanks. Yuri's just cute. Cute. Cat. Did you completely miss the symbol the symbolicism or something? It's clear about the feeling of giving up. Hmm. How can that be cute? I I know that. It just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? It meant you have to try that harder and something nice to say. Thanks. But it didn't really come out nice at all. Um well I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> As I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked that. Which people did, by the way. Say, oh, you like that. That's of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. Ho, 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 ho. Damn. She said, I don't need your help, B. <laughs> Damn. She's like, I've been working too hard. For you to say shit about my writing style. Why don't you worry about your writing style? Damn. Th that's some savage stuff right there. <clears throat> I don't expect to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I come across something particular. <clears throat> and Sergio liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh. I didn't realize you're so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, uh, that's not what I... E, you just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Sir Joy appreciates my advice more than he appreciates... He didn't appreciate my advice more? And you're that fool of yourself? I... No. I was... F if I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. E you uh, um everyone you okay well you know what well you know what i <laughs> i wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as sir joe started up natsuki <laughs> um natsuki let's go this god damn <laughs> that doesn't involve you i don't like fine guys i don't like fine guys That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective than this one. Looted for no reason. The meaning is to just jump off to the reader. No, for us, just them have figured it out. Help me explain that to her, Sir Joe. Well, wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. 
It is the only way to completely convey feelings and feeling most effectively. Avoiding them is the only unnecessary limiting yourself. It's also a waste. You understand that, right, Sergio? Um, well... <laughs> How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like you probably think more highly of me. So of course that's going to be oh. Ooh, Sayori, help me. Mm. Any mini miny mo catch a tiger by his toe if he always let him go. My mama told me to pick the very best one and you are not it and you are it. Matsuki, you're right. That I like to see wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. You ever been to take my palm tire? I was like, um, I understand. Yuri, uh, you're seriously a tanned writer. There's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it and it becomes something really personal. That's why Nasuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I uh, see... I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. But Atsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. That's what her... Atsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't... Suki so clenches his fist, and then nobody has taken her side. She's trapped at this point, definitely being the only one since you can't handle the pressure. I end up even feeling bad for her. Uh, um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps take a walk and clear my head. Sorry, she doesn't need to. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'll spare her time for having a look at your faces right now. Don't worry, Nita. Seriously, I just have her poem from the desk and storms out. I, I, uh, I thought I picked hers, but not the purple hair. But, uh, throws it in the trash. Suki. She room he has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk i gingerly approach her and sit in the adjacent chair everything all right i'm so embarrassed i can't believe i acted like that you probably hate me now no yuri how could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that you ended it well as if any could i don't think any less of you well all right i believe you thanks for joe you're too kind i'm thankful to have you part of this club now uh it's nothing one more thing. Um, that one thing that Natsuki said about, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. So, uh, what thing did Natsuki say? Uh, um, well, never mind that. I'm gonna make some tea. Ah, uh, good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? I yeah. Okay, everyone. It's about time for us to leave. How did y'all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot. It's not fun. Well, I did say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. Sir Joe, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends, too. So, poems will turn out even better. I think to myself. I did learn a little bit more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can do, I can at least do a better job impressing those who I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Sir Joe, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. He, <laughs> Siori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Siori and I have spent this much time together. Can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Siori, about what happened earlier. Uh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really why I didn't fight like that. I promise to both wonderful people. Yeah, thank you. Do you?
You know, Sergio, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's it. <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. Sorry. Looks like Siori still hasn't cut on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Well, I'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I've said that more to myself to her than her than to her. But it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and end that episode here, guys. Kind of went through a lot. We learned a little bit more about the girls. We went through an argument. And we kind of fucked up on voices, but that's all okay, because we're going to finish this later. So, go ahead and save it on page one. Boom. Alright, guys. <clears throat> Are we good? Are we good? Alright. Doki Doki Literature Club. Alright, guys. So, hope you enjoyed that video. I might do a couple more videos of it. And see where it ends up or something i don't know but thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video please drop a like it helps me out a lot neos 23 all right guys appreciate you for watching my name is neos 23 remember write your poems for tomorrow guys i'll see